Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Let each one do just as he has resolved in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Three things the scripture is telling us when we think of giving. One is resolved, meaning firm in purpose or intent. We predetermine the needs of our fellow believers and fellow men. Second is not grudgingly or under compulsion. These are the two things that have no place in a Christian heart reluctant and forced. The Greek expression rendered grudgingly literally means out of sadness or grief. A grudging or reluctant giver gives from the heart made sorrowful at the thought of parting with money. A forced giver gives because he feels pressured to do so. Who of us wants to receive a gift from a reluctant or forced giver? I know some would. No, just kidding. <laughs> For God loves a cheerful giver. That's the third thing. When your heart is overflowing with love and happiness, you can't help but show it. Being cheerful describes the inward feelings and the outward expression of the giver. Tithing was a command under the law. On the other hand, cheerfulness and generous giving is a response to the gospel. See the difference? It is a natural tendency to use the law to correct, to correct the problem. But we must remember that giving or the lack of it, it is a heart issue. We, if we are not giving in faith and joy, then what's the point of giving? Well, some people tend to give when they are forced or required to because it gives them the sense of security and a feeling that they are earning their way into God's graces, which remind me of a story. Two men were shipwrecked near an island. When they landed ashore, one of them began screaming and yelling, we are going to die! We're going to die! There's no food, no water! We are going to die! The second man leaned calmly against a palm tree. When the first man saw how calm his friend was, he went crazy and shouted, Don't you understand? We're going to die! There's no food, no water! We're going to die! Undisturbed, the second man replied, You don't understand. I make a hundred thousand dollars a week. Dumbfounded, the first man looked at him and asked, What difference does it make? We're in an island with no food, no water. We're going to die. The second man answered, Dude, you didn't get it. I make a hundred thousand dollars a week and I tie ten percent of that hundred thousand a week. Wherever I am, my pastor will be sure to find me. <laughs> the spirit of giving is overwhelming gratitude done from the heart in response for all that God has given. In response to all that God has done for us. We give not because we can afford to give. We give not because we are expecting more blessings to come in, in return, or so somebody will miss us if we're, when we're gone. We give because our hearts are filled with overwhelming joy, because we care, because we have too many blessings to be thankful for. We give because God loves a cheerful giver.